one sec. Yeah. Starting the rectus muscle, going lateral, and going more lateral. The first muscle that's beginning to appear is your transverse abdominis muscle. That's transverse abdominis. Then you have got your internal oblique, which you were saying. Chunkiest. Chunkiest muscle. You could see that. That's a chunkiest <coughs> muscle. Not always, though. Okay. Not yeah. always. You know, there's always a variability, and that's your external oblique. So you can see this plane between your internal internal oblique and transverse abdominis. That's your tap plane. So if you inject the local in this region, mm -hmm. it will only give you uh, this no somatic, somatic analgesia. It won't yeah. give you visceral analgesia because it will. So it's like so basically a field block. Like we do this pressure. for patients who have had appendix and they've developed what we call is as viscerosomatic convergence. So if you've got abdominal myofascial pain, we do this kind of block just to you know block that area. But if you're looking for the surgical block, you really need to go, keep going posteriorly, keep going posteriorly, posteriorly, and now we increase the depth. So we're, we're talking about this plane, okay? Focus on this plane, focus on this plane, focus on this plane. So it's still there, still there. And now you see it started to taper. These muscles started to taper, and that muscle started to taper. So you've got that tapering, and then they all go, and you started to see this muscle coming into the view, and that's basically your quadratus lumborum muscle. Okay, so if you increase the depth, you'll start to see. Sadik, if you just point your probe towards the bend, the junction will be much better. Sure. So most high quality. That's your quadratus lumbar muscle. So if you put the local anesthetic in this region, then what they called it as is the uh, paravertebral. Para, it will spread paravertebrally, but it's a, uh, a transverse plane block. What they call it as transverse plane block. Uh, not abdominis. Not abdominis. Yeah, transverse plane blocks because that's where all these muscles are tapering, and this is your quadratus lumbar muscle. And then they called it as QL1, QL2, QL3. QL1 is lateral, QL2 is anterior to the quadratus lumbar muscle, so based in relation to this muscle, if you're putting lateral, you're putting post, sort of posterior and anterior to the muscle. So anterior is your trans quadratus lumbar muscle, so tequila block. So you're going through the quadratus lumbar muscle and depositing it anteriorly. So more anterior you go, better it is because it will spread. So how come if you are putting it within the muscle space, it goes into the paravertebral space? Where? You're putting in that plane. It's a thoracic yeah. lumbar portion, yeah. so it splits into three. Three. Ultimately, it goes to the erector spinae. So it will go in the erector spinae means. So you, you see, this is your internal oblique. This is your transverse abdominis, and you're just keeping an eye. Internal oblique starts to taper. Transverse abdominis is already tapered off, and basically you've got hypo. This is the hypoapic muscle. That's what you're looking for, and that's his paraneferic fat because yeah. I'm pointing up or point down. Now that's the hypoapic muscle. And that is that is all tapering off there. So if, if you want to do a quadratus lumborum block, you should do it with uh, sort of you know curving in your probe because that's the probe to use for. Okay. So you guys are happy with that? Yeah. I'm sure majority of you do rectus sheet block. Majority of you do transverse abdominis plane block. You know you don't need to use.